Illegal border crossings into the U.S. drop in October after a three-month streak of increases. Illegal border crossings from Mexico fell 14% in October from a month earlier, U.S. authorities said Tuesday. Ending a three-month streak of big increases, U.S. officials highlighted the resumption of deportation flights to Venezuela on October 18th. Shortly after Venezuelans replaced Mexicans as the largest nationality appearing at the border, Customs and Border Protection said Venezuelans were stopped 65% fewer times in the second half of October compared with the second half of September, though. That figure includes Venezuelans who made asylum appointments through a mobile app as well as those who crossed the border illegally. Arrests for illegal crossings totaled 188, 778 for all nationalities in October down from 218,763 in September, which was the second highest month on record. Arrests had more than doubled over the previous three months as migrants and smugglers adjusted to new asylum regulations introduced in May. We continue to enhance our border security posture and remain vigilant, said Troy Miller, the acting CBP commissioner who urged Congress to approve President Joe. Biden's supplemental budget request for $13.6 billion in border-related spending. While crossings remain unusually high, the monthly decline is a rare piece of welcome news for a White House that has been criticized on the right and left flanks for its immigration policies. Panama has yet to release October figures for crossings through the notorious Darien jungle, which totaled more than 400,000 during the first nine months of the year. Largely Venezuelans, Biden, a Democrat has adopted an approach at the border that combines new legal pathways to enter the country with more restrictions on asylum for those who cross the border illegally, including those legal pathways. Migrants crossed the border to 140,988 times in October, down 11% from 269,735 in September. More than 44. Zero people entered from Mexico with appointments on the CBP-1 mobile app bringing the total number of scheduled appointments on the app to 324,000 since it was introduced in January. Additionally, nearly 270,000 migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela have entered the country by applying online with a financial sponsor and arriving at an airport.